Someone was wondering about NeoPixels and coding them. And I love NeoPixels because they're RGB, which means red, green, blue, which means you can make all of the colors that you want. Any color you want. You just have to learn color codes, like HTML. There are many ways, uh, devices that can control them. I have a couple of them. There is a Circuit Playground Express that is hooked up to a Cricut. I also have a Microbit, which is also hooked up to a Cricut. The idea for the Cricut is a robotics interface, which is an easier interface uh, than just having these ports to plug into, which you have to solder onto. Same with the micro bit. Yeah, you can just use the micro bit and hook up to any of those um, input output ports. But the interface, when you plug it in, makes it a little bit easier. So the, the Cricut is the same for this uh, Circle Playground and the micro bit. Same features, but it's a different Cricut. And it's got a NeoPixel little thing, which is just a little screwdriver, and you get the wires, the ground, the data, the center with cable, and the 5 volt, and you just plug it into there. Just screw it down, like I have there. And you're connected. Now, you could have just done the same thing and soldered it to the ground port to a data port and a 5 volt port on the CPX or on the microbit. That would have been fine. But then you're kind of soldered on, which is the pain. And NeoPixels, uh, I don't know how many you can do at one time. Like this is a strip of 60 and it'll easily work with the 5 volt power that the that the Cricut wants. And I have a 5 volt power from four nickel metal hydride batteries. Uh, nickel metal hydride doesn't quite do 1.5 volt, so it won't. It'll just it'll get hit five just barely over. If you use regular um, uh, lead acid batteries, non rechargeables, you can't use four. You have to use three. So careful with that. Or you could plug it in. You get a five volt two amp plug and you're good to go. Um, the one thing about doing more and more NeoPixels, like adding them on, is they're designed to add on. That's just the end of the strip. And so then you grab another plug and you plug it in. But there's a reason there's a red and a white here. is because after a certain amount, you're going to need extra power. So depending on how many you decide to add on to, um, you're going to have to find a way to bring more power to it. The data signal will go, but it just won't keep powering. I have a couple other interface devices that I'm going to test out. Um, a couple of them are new to me. Others are older. Um, this maker bit is another interface like the Cricut, and it will... Um, use the micro bit as its processor and also the hummingbird bit it will also use the hummingbird as processor but i don't think i can put any neopixels on here because it's kind of set for its um stuff it's special hardware so the other is then um using an arduino that's an arduino an arduino uno which again, you can just pick certain ports that you want, go into them. You don't need an interface. But that is a Hyperduino, which is kind of like the, the interface. Um, and again, these interfaces are designed for more than just NeoPixels. Therefore, doing servos and motors, um, input switches very easily. Multiple things. If you're just doing just some NeoPixels, Man, just using a, an Arduino, just using the micro bit, just using the CPX, pretty easy. 
Uh, the thing with the Arduino, you have to learn Arduino coding. But again, there's lots of examples out there. So you just borrow someone else's code, tweak it. There's another little interface that is Arduino based that I have used on some things, and that's called a Gemma. It's that neat little thing. It has fewer ports, because again, if you just do one little thing, I think the gem's like $10, I think the Arduino's like 20. If you're just doing one little thing, just a couple ports is all you need. Um, so that's, so you could do, you know, just one little uh, program with it. And again, you program it, power it, and you're good. Now you see up here in the corner is there's these other NeoPixel kind of things. They make all kinds of rings of NeoPixels. They're, everything's individually addressable. So depending on what shape you want to do and how you, far you want to go, you could use rings. There's some ideas on NeoPixels and all the different interfaces. Again, some of the, 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 the idea with a hat or a interface is so it's just quick and easy, plug it in, pull it out, plug it in, pull it out, do multiple things instead of having to hardwire something and there, therefore you've dedicated your processor to that. I'll show you coding in a minute. 